Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video on NBA Top Shot, definitely got an exciting one. Two packs to open here. Two extra spice packs. Brand new set to Top Shot in Series 3. So excited to open these. Obviously, they're out of just 6,500. Pretty low for a set. That is not a, I guess it's technically a common moment, but not a base moment. So definitely excited to get this. A lot of good players in this as well. And before we get into these pack openings, just wanted to mention, link down below to my Twitter. Fairly new to Twitter, so still trying to <laughs> figure it all out. But definitely follow me on Twitter and vote on this poll. It'll be linked directly to this poll. So vote on, vote on the poll and follow me. Trying to figure out how many people are on both NBA Top Shot and NFL All Day. And also check out my last video where I covered how NFL All Day could be massive, potentially even bigger than NBA Top Shot is now. So definitely interested in both platforms still. Love Top Shot, love NFL All Day. I think they're going to do some crazy things next football season with NFL All Day. So give me a follow on Twitter. It's free, obviously. And uh, vote in the poll. So far, we only got 24 votes. Probably out of my 600 14 followers probably a hundred of them are actually in the top shot i had about 100 or 500 followers before i started tweeting again about nba top shot so give me a follow on there also subscribe to the youtube channel doing a lot of giveaways trying to do one a week now for a top shot debut moment so now let's look at what's in this extra spice pack before we open these two packs we have. So we can see here I was able to get two because my collector score with the added bonus was above 5,000. And definitely think that basically any moment you pull in here is going to be positive value if you sell it in a challenge. And the challenge rewards are really good. It's a LeBron and a Ja Morant. So I think these moments could have some pretty good value going in to the the challenges and you're obviously going to need all these moments for the two challenges so i think they could be going for a premium i guess my price prediction would be a floor of like 12 dollars for one of the worst players you could get which would be like a let's see i guess Compazzo and gary payton probably two of the worst Kelly Oubre is not as good either compared to some guys like Luca, Donovan Mitchell, Lonzo Ball, Trey Young, Steph Curry, Jalen Suggs, rookie, and Lance Stevenson because he only has one other moment on the platform is going to be coming in probably pretty high. Chris Paul, I mean, there's so many good players that you could pull in this pack. And then something I noticed about the comments is they usually mint new common base moments for these pack drops but i don't think they did for this one uh i didn't see any new mints and you still have a chance to pull a 9.9k if we look at some of them like here this tyler here there's 500 in this drop so still a decent chance i guess of pulling a 9.9k but i think you're basically going to get 60ks for the most part, for your other moments besides the spice moment. And no new uh, rookies or 12K debuts either. So pretty small chance to pull one of those, but it would be awesome to get one of those in this pack as well. So I'm going to open up these packs now. And then after that, I'll talk about again what I think a wild card could be for the challenges for LeBron and Jaw. So now let's just get into this pack opening two pack openings i guess and let's see what we get so i don't believe there's a way to tell which one is the spice moment so we're just going to go from the bottom here 595 cj ellaby debut wow was not expecting to pull that as one of my base common moments a debut out of 12k and a three digit serial so off to a great start already with this back opening. Let's go. Definitely a great one to pull. Here we got a Heat 4000 Bam Adebayo, and this is the spice moment. So a pretty good one. Um, actually, I don't know how the bracket is going down. We should definitely check out the bracket for voting on this. I wouldn't imagine that this one would be making it that far in the bracket now for voting on the spice moments if 
you know what I'm talking about. We'll check it out right after this video. I'd say BAM is probably middle of the road to pull, so not bad one. Here we got a 42K Jakob Poto and a 25K Akoro. So good pack, getting that three digit LOB debut and a BAM Anabayo. So now let's move on to the next pack. So our first moment of the next pack is a Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. That announcer is crazy <laughs> for all the Bridges highlights. So this is my spice moment. Pretty good one to get. When I saw Hornets, I was thinking LaMelo Ball. But I think Bridges is probably, again, around the same level as Bam Adebayo would be for a spice moment. So not a bad one as well. Let's see if we can get some other luck here and pull a moment of value here that's not a 60K moment. So we got a Grant Williams block. We got a block, Danny Green, 10K serial. And our last one, 12K Rondo layup. Okay, so it's back not as good as the other one, but still I think hopefully this Bridges can go for $15 plus when it's in a challenge. So. Definitely think this one was a, a pretty good one, as well as Bam Adebayo. So I wanted to look at the CJ Ellaby and the price of a three-digit serial. So Lois asked for any moment is just five bucks for his debut, and he only has one moment. I mean, it definitely could be a good bottleneck moment, but let's check it out on Evaluate Market, see if there's any more value in a three-digit, like if it could go for $10 or more hope at least 10 wow there is a lot of oh wait nine dollars six hours ago a lot of sales that you can see on here and i guess a good amount of people pulled in packs and are listing it if you're able to list now but uh yeah interesting oh this is listings not sales here's the sales so actually a three digits just sold for 18 bucks pretty good and then you get five six sevens so Let's see on the chart, just orange ones. And this will give us an idea, of zero to 1200. So yeah, that was kind of an outlier sale, I would say, $18 for a three digit, $15 for a 100 serial. So between 12 and 15 is probably what I'm looking like for this, but I'll probably just hold on to it. It might be in a challenge and you know debut moments if they're the bottlenecks in the challenge with a player not having any other moments, could go like 40, 50 bucks. So always good to get a debut. So I found on Twitter, I think this is the most up-to-date bracket. It was just tweeted five hours ago. And let's see, Bam out of Bayou lost in the first round. And I guess, where is Miles Bridges? So Bridges was in the second round to start and won one round and then lost to Luca. So now it's between Luca, Lamelo, Paul, and Morant. I like the Chris Paul moment. He goes through the legs of a defender and then I forget what he does after that. It's a jump shot or, or something. It's a pretty good one. So I think hopefully Chris Paul will win. I think that's a pretty cool one. But kind of cool how they did this bracket with March Madness and everything going on. Makes a lot of sense. Now I just wanted to give my thoughts on what I think the wild card could be for these challenges for LeBron and Ja. And I think it's just going to be a LeBron, since the rewards are LeBron block, I think the wild card just makes a lot of sense. And based on the moments available, that it's going to need a LeBron block moment. So basically you're looking at the 40K, it's just 18 bucks. I uh, think that makes a lot of sense. And it's not like going to create a massive bottleneck. So I think that's a fair one to buy. I mean, $18 for LeBron anyways uh, seems like a pretty good deal. So I would think that would be one of them. And then for Morant, his is a layup moment, 360 layup. And I think... For that one, you're going to need a jaw layup, and there's, f what, like 45,000 compared to like 41, 42,000 of these jaws available, and this is just 11 bucks for the 35K. So to me, that makes too much sense for them just to do that for the wild card moment. 
don't really know what else they would do. I guess we've seen them pull random crazy things for wild card moments recently, but these just make the most sense to me. So definitely let me know what you guys think the wild card moments could be, what you got in your packs, you got anything good. I think I had some pretty decent pack openings. Excited to see what these prices come in at for some of these spice moments. I think they're going to be pretty good and pretty sought after, at least while they're in the challenge. So excited to see that and got some pretty good packs. Always fun to open some Top Shot packs. So definitely subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys in another video.